Beyonce has finally revealed her twins. I know so many fans have been waiting for this moment. And let me tell you, she did not disappoint. She did it in such a beautiful and graceful way. The 35 year old known as Queen Bee shared a picture to her Instagram of her two month old twins. In it, she's wearing the same veil as she wore in her original pregnancy photo. And she posed in front of a flower arch. You know the photo I'm talking about. It broke the record for the most liked photo on Instagram. But something tells me this picture will be taking the record very shortly. After just nine hours of being posted, it has 6.6 million likes, so it's well on its way to claiming the top spot. She even confirmed the names of her children which are Sir Carter and Rumi. Rumi is a Japanese girl's name that translates into beauty and flow, but it also has a Bengali origin that translates into beautiful woman. Hey everyone and welcome back to LP, I'm Court McGinley and TGIF we finally made it to the weekend. Let me know down in those comments what you're doing this weekend. On Sunday it's my mom's birthday so I'm super excited to spend the whole day with her. Also little fun fact for you guys, today is National Mac and Cheese Day, so if you haven't had dinner yet then I suggest you grab a box of KD. Or if you're the exact opposite of me and actually possess a talent for cooking, then maybe you can make it from scratch. Alright, as you guys know, we have a lot of interesting stories headed your way, so let's get started. Next, a 14 year old girl was electrocuted after her phone fell into the bathtub. Madison Co is from Texas and she died earlier this week after her phone that was plugged into the bathroom wall outlet fell into the bathtub while she was bathing and electrocuted her. Madison's grandmother reported, there were burn marks on her hands, the one that would have grabbed the phone. Because of this tragic accident, her family now makes it their mission to speak out and spread awareness of of the dangers of using electronics in the bathroom. Her grandmother went on to say, this is such a tragedy and we don't want it to happen to anyone else. We want something good to come out of this as awareness of not using your cell phones in the bathroom when it's plugged in and charging. Madison recently graduated from Tierra Vista Middle School and would have begun high school this upcoming fall semester. Her family said that she had a very bright future ahead of her. Everyone definitely needs to take Madison's story as a warning and never have plugged electronics near water. Next, mass extinction event threatens survival of human race underway. A research paper has been published and it talks about how biological annihilation of wildlife has led to a mass extinction event that's more severe than people previously thought. Scientists have recently found that billions of regional and local populations of both common and rare species have been lost and that humans are to blame. It appears that human overpopulation and overconsumption are behind the crisis. And if it's not addressed then this human civilization is under threat as well. Research also shows that a third of the thousands of species losing populations are not currently listed as being endangered. And up to 50% of all individual animals have been lost in recent decades. The scientist who wrote the paper says, the resulting biological annihilation obviously will have serious ecological, economic, and social consequences. Humanity will eventually pay a very high price for killing off the only assemblage of life that we know in the universe. All signs point to ever more powerful assaults on biodiversity in the next two decades, painting a dismal picture of the future of life including human life. It will sadly take a long time to humanely begin the population shrinkage required if civilization is to long survive. Well, that doesn't sound good. Next, fidget spinner lip balm is officially coming to Sephora. Okay, now I've heard everything. This product is going to go by the name Glam Spin. Yeah. Clever name there guys. This will be a collab between Buzzfeed product labs and trend driven quickly to market cosmetics manufacturer Taste Beauty. It will include three fruity flavored lip balms, strawberry, grape and peach. It's going to be selling for $10 and will be sold on Sephora.com starting August 2nd. After that depending on how well it does, it will head to Saks Fifth Avenue and Dylan's Candy Bar. Well I guess if fidget spinners are sticking around they might as well be multifunctional. Next, Kentucky Fried Chicken has just come out with new merch. I guess it was just a matter of time right? McDonald's started the trend and now before we know it, every fast food chain is going to hop on board. KFC is selling a rather bizarre mixture of items. They have clothes, jewelry, and even some home goods. These items are being sold for a limited time online, so you might as well get them while they're hot. About this, KFC's US Director of Media and Digital, Steve Kelly, had this to say. KFC and Colonel Saunders have been American pop culture icons for more than 70 years. Our fans were craving a way to embrace their fried chicken lifestyle. This gives them the opportunity to let their Colonel flag fly. Okay there Steve, whatever you say. The most expensive of item being sold is a $20,000 zinger meteorite. It's a 400 year old meteorite that's been carved into the shape of a zinger chicken sandwich. Um, that's uh, that's definitely one of a kind. They also have a finger licking good necklace, a fried chicken USA shirt, a pillowcase with the colonel's head on it, a drumstick t-shirt, and they even have prints of the chicken bucket. Yeah, they thought of everything. Let me know down in the comments if you'd be interested in purchasing any of these items. And it's that time of the week where I let you guys know it's super cool, awesome movies are hitting box office this weekend. And we have War for the Planet of the Apes. This movie is rated 14A and it's an action movie. And fun fact, Matt Rivez was the director and co-writer of this film. This is the third chapter of the critically acclaimed blockbuster franchise. In War for Planet of the Apes, Caesar and his apes are forced into a deadly conflict with an army of humans led by a ruthless senior military officer. 
After the apes suffer unimaginable losses, Caesar wrestles within his darkest instincts and begins his own quest to avenge his kind. As the journey finally brings them face to face, Caesar and the military officer are pinned against each other in an epic battle that will determine the fate of their species and the future of the planet. Here's a sneak peek. Well, there you have it. That's all the stories I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one.